We tend to look at our own work and look at other people's work and assess for ourselves how good we are and how good they are or how skilled or how talented. That's not a fixed thing, is it? Let me show you. I've got two dresses in front of me. One is beginner level, the other is advanced level, and I made both of them. This is one that I made when I was 18, it was the first dress that I made. This is one that I made in 2013, 22 years later. And I want to show you both of these because we've all heard the advice that you should stop comparing yourself to others, that's not anything new. We all know we shouldn't compare ourselves, but we still do it anyway. So I just want to use these two dresses to maybe demonstrate that to you a bit more clearly. This is something that I might have entered had there been a Foundations Revealed competition in 1991. I could have entered this dress. This is the first thing I ever made. It is a circle skirt with elastic. It's made out of cotton. It has no lining and this elasticated waist has attached to it a halter neck top and it crosses over in front and fastens into the skirt with breast studs. At the back the bodice is attached with rough back stitches with the edge left raw. I haven't even finished it at all. The stitching is kind of ripply but it's sound. It works. Here's the hem. Also, oh, it's a little bit ropey here and there. But this is what I could do. This was my very first dress. This was, in a sense, the hardest dress I ever made. This would have been in the beginner category in a competition. You may have figured out by now, this is supposed to be the Marilyn Monroe dress from the Seven Year Itch, the white dress. This is the belt that ties around the middle. Ripply little edges where I fold the edge over to try and finish it. And I've had to attach two extra pieces, one on each end of this belt, because I cut it, either I didn't cut it long enough or I didn't have a long enough piece left, I forget which it was. But that went around the middle. And I'm proud of it. I was proud of it at the time. I got compliments on the night at the party. But it's a piece of cotton, polyester lining, by my standards, in... 2021, 30 years later, I could do way better than this now. But that's where I started. That's how good I was in 1991. If I had compared myself to other people in that competition, I may have let myself get discouraged because there would have been people entering that hypothetical competition who were much, much better than me. 22 years later, I produced this dress. This is a reproduction of a dinner dress from 1908 that's in the book costume in detail and I went and found the original dress in the museum so that I could study it and recreate it as accurately as I could. I took the pattern for the bodice from a pattern drafting book from 1908 and drafted it from scratch, bought the fabulous same fabric as the original was made of, this silk crepe machine, because I had the budget by then and I wanted to see how the original dress really moved. I used silk organza in the sleeves on the inside of the sleeves and made a plain sleeve out of silk organza and then this ruched silk chiffon went on top and that's hand sewn down. There's all these tiny little cartridge pleated ruffles and tiny, tiny, tiny hooks and eyes. The eyes are hand sewn. All of this draping I did on the stand and my gosh that was quite complex. You know I'm proud of this, I'm really really proud of this. This is the most complicated thing I've ever completed. It's even got, dare I show you the hem, the hem is padded and sewn down with French knots. I'm incredibly proud of this. I could have entered this if I'd wanted to in the 2013 competition, in the advanced category and it would have intimidated the heck out of the young lady who made this when she was 18. This person 
might have compared herself to this person and been influenced to maybe give up because surely somebody making hems that don't even lie flat how am i ever going to look as good as this and yet i did 22 years later how is someone who's only good enough to do this with the edges raw and the polyester lining i paid 20 pounds in total for all the materials for this dress how is this person ever going to afford to pay the amount of money i paid for all the fabrics in this meters and meters of silk crepe machine and silk satin here and all of these beads this is antique braid you know i spent a bit of money on this because it was special because i could by this point if this person compared themselves to this person they would be completely intimidated and yet these two are the same person so i want you to take that perspective when you're looking at your competition entry perhaps next to the one next to it on the screen and thinking how could i ever be as good as them well what if you could be we have people enter the foundations reveal competition every year and if you look at that entry each year you can see it getting better and better and better and better every year they're not stuck in one place so instead of comparing yourself to other people that you see entering our competition this year whether you entered or not everybody who's entered is on a journey your skill level is not set in stone it's a constantly changing set of skills you're always practicing you're always improving all you have to do is not give up i hope you can see the difference from 1991 to 2013 is night and day a plant grows slowly a set of skills grows slowly sometimes you have to look at the time lapse version to see the progression and see how things are changing because your skills grow so slowly you can't see it happening in real time but when you look at something you made 20 years ago and something you made today suddenly it's obvious so don't think that you're not making progress because you are <laughs>